Welcome to Rider Gamer. My name's Kevin. Happy to be a writer and a gamer. And so Todd Howard did an interview with Kind of Funny Games YouTube channel. And there was one particular question that he was asked that really stood out to me. And I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on that question and his response to that question. Questions was, Todd, we land on these planets and people are blown away by the size and the scope of things. Is there a land vehicle or an option to maybe mount some of these wildlife creatures to use as a land transportation mode of, uh, mode of transport? Uh, there is not. You know, we do design it. I think when we, we've seen this with our other games where we want to design it so it feels good on foot, but we do have the boost pack. You saw some of that in the video, and you have skills for the boost pack. So the boost pack almost acts like this vehicle. It's super fun where you can fly through, and then the low-gravity planets are just um, really, really something special in the game. Hmm. So, here's my thinking in this. You, No Man's Sky has 18 quadrillion planets. Now, granted, the, the biggest issue with No Man's Sky is it's a lot of rinse-repeated planets. It doesn't take an individual long to discover every planet there is to discover in No Man's Sky, let alone any animal, because just the, every fucking planet in No Man's Sky pretty much has animals on it. <laughs> well, almost. You know, 99%. Of the planets have fucking life on it. But they're rinse repeated. And the one thing No Man's Sky has. Is the ability. To travel around the planet. Be it in your spaceship. Or in some kind of land vehicle. If a smaller company. Than Bethesda. Backed by a big company. Microsoft. There is objectively no excuse for Bethesda not to give the ability to fly around the planets in your own ship or use a land vehicle. This, this is the equivalent of NASA going to the moon and be like, let's explore the moon, but we're going to walk all over the moon. Because for time constraints, that objectively makes no fucking sense. And for time constraints within every gamer's modern day life, that objectively makes no fucking sense. I think that Bethesda and Todd Howard and Microsoft need to fix this. It, it, I mean, this isn't even like something that is subjective. It objectively needs to be in the game. Because, number one, this isn't fucking Skyrim, Todd Howard. This isn't fucking Fallout. You, you, there's, there's supposedly a thousand planets. You can explore the entire planet. You need to get off your lazy asses and actually make something. Again, if Hello Games can create it, there's objectively no reason you can't. Not to mention that, you know, you have to leave the planet to go to a different location on the planet. That, that's completely, utterly retarded. Again, if a smaller company can create a video game that allows you to do that, there's objectively no reason why Bethesda couldn't.